hello there welcome to wix ideas i'm walter and today we're about to sprinkle some mary poppins magic on your wix studio website by adding a marquee or scrolling text to your website as you can see over here we have a text that is scrolling to the page that starts at the very right end of the page to the very left end of the page and i'm going to share with you how to add this feature to your website as you can see when you hover on it it pauses and when you unhover it begins to play i will also show you how to add a link to this so you can redirect users to any page of your website where you want them to go to when they click on this marquee text if this is your first time watching Wix ideas tutorials welcome to the channel I make tutorials for Wix Classic and Wix Studio websites. You can also do well to subscribe to this channel and turn on your bell notification to be the first to know when I release amazing videos like this. Most importantly, you can let me know in the comment section if you have any questions regarding Wix or Wix Studio websites. Now if you're excited, let's jump right into this tutorial. Here is the template website where I'm going to be adding this feature to and I'm just going to scroll down a little bit to this section and over here I can just hover on this section to add a section on top and this is where I'll be adding my feature to. Now the element we're going to be using for this tutorial is the pro gallery. So head over to your ad and then go to your media and over here the images go to your pro galleries. Here you can drag and drop the very first option to this section that you just created but here we're going to go ahead and actually customize this to make it look the way we want it to look like. So first of all go to your settings and over here we're going to change the layout of this gallery so head over to the layout and click on slider and then go to the customize layout to actually begin to set up how you want this slider to work now first off i'm going to leave the gallery ratio as manual and over here the top nails resize i'm going to set it to fit and i'm going to scroll down a little bit more to this section where we have the slideshow settings i'm going to go ahead and loop these images i'm going to slide this automatically most importantly we're going to go ahead and select the continuous so it just continues to slide as much as we want now go ahead and increase this wheel to how fast you want this to scroll or how slow you want it to scroll i'm just going to leave mine at 100 and over here you can see the pause on hover now you can go ahead and disable this if you don't want to pause your slideshow when it's been hovered on i'm going to leave mine as this now most importantly we're going to head over to the settings now the very first option we have here is what happens when we click on it go ahead and click on that and i want a link to open when i click on it now it depends on you if you don't want to add a link at all go ahead and say nothing happens but i'm going to leave a link opens as my option and then next we're going to head over to the design now over here we're going to go over to the overlay and icons and here we're going to go all the way to this section where it says the overlay color i'm going to change the opacity to zero and we're going to go all the way down to this section where we have the overlay effect i'm going to set that to no effect now this is exactly how i want it to be we're going to go back and go over to the text and over here we're going to disable the title and the description now head back and go to the button make sure that this is also disabled now let's head back to the navigation arrows and make sure that those navigation arrows do not show and that's what we see over here so let's go over here and uncheck this and then we're going to head over to the item style over here we're going to remove the hover effects and see no effects then let's head back to the design and here in the scroll animations we can click on that and leave it as scroll and we can also go further and customize our animations and over here you can see the transition style now you can choose any of the styles that you want but i'm going to leave mine at linear so I just scroll smoothly but you can go ahead and play around with this transition style just to see what works for you now once you're done that is all we need to do for the gallery on the settings level and the next thing we want to do is to actually manage media so head over to the manage media and this is where we begin to actually add in our text so go ahead and first of all select all and then delete and here we're going to start adding our text so click on add media and head over to the text now over here in this text section we're going to go ahead and customize it how we want it to look like now first of all i'm going to go ahead and select the custom and i'm just going to go ahead and remove the fill color and opacity and set this to zero now this is going to make the background of this particular text to be transparent we can go ahead and change the color to any color that you want to so i'm going to leave mine at zero opacity so go ahead and first of all clear all of this and you can begin to write in what you want to see so mine is going to be Mary Poppins. Now do not worry about this, we're going to change the color of how this text displays on our front end. But we're going to first of all highlight all the text that you just typed in and head over to this section to change the color of your text. So I'm going to make mine to be black and I can go ahead and close this section. Now once you're done, you can make it bold. I can also go to this section to select the fonts that you want to work with. Now mine is selected with the default font of the website. You can set yours to be the brand of what you want or any font that you're really comfortable with. But I'm going to set the font size to be 50. Now once you're happy with that, go ahead and close this section up. Now you can see that this is beginning to look great. And then next, you can actually begin to choose to add emojis that you want. It depends on you if you want to add emojis or not. So I'm going to go ahead and add a crystal ball. 
as you see this is not on the same line but we can also make this better by going over to the box padding and reducing the padding and as you can see all of these is in one line and now we are done with the text let's go ahead and add that to our gallery now once you're done click on done and then we're going to see our changes right over here as you can see we have our text looking really beautiful here and what we can do is to make sure that this section is fitting properly how we want it to look so click on the section and head over to the size and let's reduce the size and maybe let's have the size to be at 150 pixels now once that is done you can see that the gallery has resized itself to the proportion of this section now over here you can click on your gallery and head over to this and stretch this so let's go ahead and publish this and view it on a live site great so over here as you can see we have our market text looking all great and if you hover on it you can see that it pauses and when you when you on hover it begins to play but there's an issue we have here and as you can see when i hover on it it seems to not actually have a smooth stop and that is what we're about to fix next so let's head back to our editor and over here we're going to go back to manage media now the solution to this is by duplicating this design as many times as possible at least five times just to make the pause to be smoother at the end now by clicking on this icon here it does not give you the option to duplicate your media so what you need to do is to actually recreate this manually and i'm going to time lapse through this Amazing. So I'm going to head to actually duplicate these as many times as I could and we have five media duplicates of this text. So let's go ahead and click on done. I'm going to publish these and show you how it looks like on the live site. amazing so we're here on the live site and here when i hover on this you can see that we have a smooth stop and this is exactly what we want to do now if you want to see a different version of this i have a tutorial on maki or scrolling text on wix and wix studio and this is exactly almost the same thing only difference here is we are using actual text and not images so if you did enjoy this tutorial and you think this is going to be useful for you please do consider to subscribe to this channel and also leave a like on this video you can also do well to comment in the comment section if you have any questions i hope this was magic for you and i will see you in the next tutorial